During the time of the High Republic, the Jedi Order were at the absolute peak of their power and were so deeply connected to the light side of the Force that many light side Force abilities that they couldn't use during the fall of the Republic era were available to them. One major example of this was Jedi Foresight, which usually let the Jedi foresee the near future, but during the fall of the Republic was clouded by their imbalance and the Sith Shrine below the Jedi Temple. During the High Republic, however, the Jedi had almost every single light side Force ability available to them, including a unique ability known as Force Connection or Force Meld. This ability allowed its user to create a web in the Force, connecting any light side user that they could sense together and allowing them to see through their eyes, sense their surroundings and communicate emotions with them. So before we dive more into this awesome Force ability, make sure you're subscribed with the bell button on for more awesome Star Wars lore content. And just very quickly for those of you who haven't started reading the new High Republic content, the High Republic books and comics are set around 200 years before The Phantom Menace, while the new Acolyte TV show set in the High Republic is around 50 years before The Phantom Menace. So we'll probably be saying hello to Mr. Plagueis. After many years of peace and freedom from conflict throughout the Republic, a shocking event known as The Great Disaster rocked the Republic and caused mass panic and confusion around the galaxy. This sudden event ripped starships apart across the galaxy and violently threw them out of hyperspace before launching the pieces tumbling into planetary systems at near light speed. Obviously, if these pieces collided with planets or other objects at near the speed of light, those planetary bodies are going to be horrifically damaged. The first system to be affected by the disaster was the Hetzel system, when a large group of high-speed objects were detected on a collision trajectory with the prime planet in the system and their two moons. The leader of the Hetzel system immediately tried to evacuate the entire planet and the moons, but there simply weren't enough ships to get everyone away from their impending deaths. Because of this, rioting, looting and chaos erupted on the farming world, causing many deaths before the impact even happened. After hearing of the event, the Jedi Order, who had recently constructed a massive outpost in the galactic frontier, raced to the scene of the disaster inside of their Embassy-class cruiser, the Third Horizon, where they deployed large ships known as Jedi Longbeams to command smaller fleets of starfighters known as Jedi Vector-class starfighters. The commanding officer of the ship during the rescue was Jedi Master Avar Chris, who had a unique Force ability called Force Meld or Force Connection, which helped her to command her Jedi Knights during the battle. To do this, she sat down on the bridge of her ship and simply closed her eyes, plunging deeply into the Force. This understandably confused and even frightened many of the officers on board the ship's bridge, who were just regular Republic Security Force peacekeepers and not Jedi. Avar Chris then closed her senses to anything but the Force and began to weightlessly float above the deck of the bridge with various objects orbiting her as she meditated. This again shocked the officers and admiral of the ship, but she was too focused on her Force meld to notice. Soon after, Avar Chris began to reach out in the Force to every single other Jedi who were deployed on the rescue operation around the Hetzel system, forging a line of connection between herself and them, and then extending that connection out from the other Jedi to even more Jedi, like a web. Her connection to each other Jedi through the Force web was very dull and weak at first, but as she added more light side Force users to it, her senses began to sharpen until eventually she could feel the emotions of everyone in the web. Avar Chris was soon able to send vague messages, almost like a simple feeling through the web, to instruct her Jedi Knights in the rescue effort on how to proceed. She wasn't able to send clear messages, but rather a vague feeling that could be interpreted differently by every Jedi connected to the Force. Because of this, she had to hope that all the Jedi were on the same page. Further to this, she was able to feel the emotions of any specific Jedi in the web and know if any of them were in danger. As the rescue effort continued, Avar Chris and the Jedi received horrible news. Not only were fragments of the ship hurtling towards Hetzel Prime at astonishing speeds, but now, a cargo container full to the brim of liquid Tabana from the Legacy Run, one of the ships pulled out of hyperspace by the Great Disaster, was on a collision course with the Hetzel System's Trinary Stars. Liquid Tabana also happens to be the same stuff that Luke Skywalker sprayed on his father in The Empire Strikes Back, but more importantly, if a large amount of it were to ever collide with a certain type of hydrogen-rich star, like the ones in the Hetzel system, it would cause the star to expand rapidly and eat the entire Hetzel system into its fiery plasma. The Jedi knew that if they didn't stop the Liquid Tabana container from colliding with the Trinary Stars, every single person who couldn't evacuate would be killed, including the Jedi who were there too. Because of this, Avar Chris sent out a message to all Jedi, giving them permission to escape the system and return to Coruscant for safety. 
Through her web, however, she was able to sense that not a single Jedi who was connected to it chose to flee from the battle, and instead, they all remained in the Hetzel system and vowed to try to stop the rapidly moving container. Obviously, slowing down a large object at near the speed of light is not possible for even the greatest Jedi like Master Yoda, so they needed another plan. This plan was to use the Force Connection ability to pull together all of the strength of the Jedi in the web and channel it directly at the Liquid Tabana container. Obviously, even with all of this strength, they weren't going to stop it, but they didn't need to. All they had to do was deviate its trajectory through the Hetzel system just away from the Trinary Stars in order to save the entire populations of the planet and moons along with themselves. Every Jedi in the Hetzel system, regardless if they were flying, on the ground meditating, or doing whatever else, instantly fell into a deep meditation-like state and focused all of their power and might on the Liquid Tabana projectile. They were guided through the Force by Avar Chris's Force Connection ability. Now I'll read to you directly a small part of the book to see exactly what happened. So here it is. We will move it. Now, Avar thought, across the system, Jedi reached out to the Force. Some closed their eyes, some lifted their arms, some stood, some sat meditating on the ground, while others hovered above it. Some were in starships, others on the surface. Many were alone, but others were with members of their order, or were surrounded by small groups of people who could sense, somehow, the importance of what was happening, even if they themselves could not touch the Force. Dozens of Jedi acting as one. The galaxy thrummed. An invisible hand grasped the Tabana bomb in a firm grip and threw it to one side. Gentle but precise, like tossing an egg to someone you hoped would catch it without the thing shattering all over their hands. Avar listened. They had succeeded. They had moved the Tabana, but they had also failed, and were not able to move the liquid Tabana enough, it was still on a collision course with the stars. After this, Avar Chris had no other choice but to expand her web to every single light side user in the galaxy. All light side users and Jedi throughout the galaxy stopped what they were doing to link their minds and focus their might and energy on moving the liquid Tabana. Many Jedi were simply overwhelmed by this immense power and collapsed unconscious, some unfortunately even dying. One Jedi, Ra Barochi, fell so violently out of the web that he tumbled off the top of a building, falling 20 stories to his death. Because of the immense strain from the web, he wasn't able to summon the Force to break his fall in time. Master Yoda, Uriel Poof, and many others from Coruscant reached out to stop this ticking time bomb. The Song of the Force began to hum in a beautiful tone as all of the Jedi throughout the web began to sing and chant, We will move it. This song however came to an abrupt stop as it looked like the Tabana was about to impact the star, but thankfully its trajectory was altered just enough to save the Hetzel system and a large portion of the galaxy. This caused the Song of the Force to burst back to life and also sent every single light side user around the galaxy tumbling to the ground with exhaustion and strain as the Force breathed a deep sigh of relief. The Jedi, and more specifically Avar Chris, had just saved the galaxy with Force Connection. This ability was also featured in Star Wars Legends, but has now been brought into canon by the first High Republic book, Light of the Jedi. Pretty awesome. So that was the light side force ability used by Avar Chris and the Jedi Order to save the Hetzel system and the galaxy. Thanks so much for watching, really hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers guys, hope to see you in the next one.